progress um, for those of you know I don't know you know I did change companies uh, with a different company right now um, and it's been wonderful lately I have a new strategy this may work for well it will work I had to do a few loads to see if this is this will work uh, as far as how to make like like more money. Last month, well, ever since I started, when I came onto this company, you know, I, I did percentage, which I've never, I haven't done before. And, um, you know, I was used to doing uh, the miles, chasing the miles or whatever. Now in the beginning, when it comes to the rates, you know, I didn't know too much about it, but when you work for a company, they're gonna pay you based off of the rates, supposedly, the rates in the, what's going on in the market or whatever. So that's the rate they're gonna give you. Now I'm not saying they, they have given me some, some, some horrible rates and I've rejected them, but they have gave me some very good rates. Uh, but, because of what I was doing with fuel, I couldn't capitalize on the rates and I, I wasn't making no money. And it's hard when you're not making money out here. It really is. So, uh, what I was doing wrong, and I see that I was doing that wrong, what I was doing wrong was I was fueling as I go. And when you do that, 
you'll get a percentage load. They'll tell you how much you're gonna make. And you're gonna put enough fuel in there to make it. Unless it's a long, uh, a long run, you're gonna fill your tank up. If it's one of those 500 miles or whatever, 400 miles, you're gonna fuel for enough to put in there. And that's what killed me. That's, that's, that, that what hurt me right there. So, you know, basically, I mean, when you fuel as you go, depending on the area that you're in, if you're up north, fuel is high. So if you're doing a 400 mile run or whatever, you feel it as you go, of course you're gonna put more fuel in there than, more, you're gonna spend more money on fuel. And the race that they give you, you know, for a 400 mile run, I mean, the, the majority of the run for 400 miles, you know, they may, they may pay you 700, 800, it just depends. Um, but when you're up north, you know, even fueling as you go, you're gonna put at least 300, 400, 500 dollars up in there. And then after they take out what they gotta take out, you're left with pretty much nothing. So I could not figure it out. Like, what the heck am I doing wrong? This is the key. What you have to do is make sure your tank doesn't does not go past half a tank. When you when you when your tank when you when you fuel and it doesn't go past half a tank, every load that you do, you're not not even going to put more than two three hundred dollars in the tank, depending on the area. If you're up north, it may take a little bit more, but of course down south, fuel is getting a little lower. You don't even have to put that much fuel in there, $200. So you're gonna make money on every trip, especially the big trips. The thing I like about this company, them Florida loads, it's hard to get out of Florida, but going into Florida, man, they pay you well. Like they pay you really good. And if you only gotta put $300 in the tank, to deliver that load to Florida, uh -huh. then you you good you you pretty much you're good to go. So basically, uh, what I've been doing is not been going past past half a tank, and it's been working out. Because when you have a short load and they send you a rate of how much you're going to get paid, if it's like 300 400 miles, which is kind of very rare, but let's just say you get like a 300. 400 mile run, you don't even have to put fuel in there. All that money is yours. And it works the same for, for those that are driving by the mile, because uh, for owner operators, you know, they still take the fuel out, however much fuel you put in. So what you do is, it you do the same thing. Don't let your tank go past half a tank. They send you something that's 400 miles, you run it, don't put no fuel in, but it, you should either be on fuel on full by the time they you get that load, or even if you have to put, if you're at half a tank because of the last load and you got to put, you know, something up, 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 you know, something in there. You, I mean, you're only going to put like two hundred dollars in, but you have control. You can put a hundred dollars in if you want to. You don't even have to put it all the way at full. But that's what I do, because. All it does is prepare you for the next load. The next load they send you. You're not even thinking about fuel. For the most part, you're not. Because you're only putting a little bit of money in there. I have spent less fuel money-wise. I have spent less money on fuel since I've started this strategy <laughs> than I probably have been driving. And I don't know why I just now figured this out, but I figured it out and it's working. And you have to, in order to start, depending on where your fuel is at right now, in order to start it, you may have to fill up the tank, you know, eat one load, basically saying, you may not get nothing for that load, but you got a full tank. But when the next load comes, 
you run that load. If it's short, don't put no fuel in it. If it's a long run, uh, run it. When you get to, when you see your needle get to half a tank, throw some more fuel in there. Because they're gonna pay you a lot for the long runs anyway. You know, if it's eight, 900 miles, and you gotta fill your tank up, well, I have to fill my tank up at least twice, but I'm only gonna spend like $400, $500, probably like 400 for the for the whole, whole if, I, if I want to. Because if you, you could not, you know, put your tank back on full on full and just run it the whole way if your truck can make it that far i mean you eat 900 miles you, you're gonna have to put some more you can't make that on a full tank but it, but you're spending more money by filling up let's say let's say you start off at a full tank you get close to your area okay put it like let's put it like this let's say you're close to e you know, and you you gotta drive 900 miles. You're gonna fill your tank up. That's gonna cost you at least like $500, $600. That full tank ain't gonna make it the whole way. When you get close, you're gonna have to put, if you fuel as you go, you probably put another 300, 200 in there. You know, you're gonna spend like $800 in gas, $700 in gas. If you, if, if you start, if you do the strategy and you start, you, you, if you do the strategy and they send you a full load, you already have a half a tank or a full tank. So you're going to put half in there, probably like $200. You're going to get there, you no know, halfway, put another $200 in, 300 because that's all it's going to take to fill up your tank. Now you don't only spent five hundred dollars in, in fuel, and you made it to your destination. By the time you get to your destination, you should be at a half a tank. Next load, if it's short, I wouldn't worry about. I mean, you might want to put a hundred or two in there, but if it's long, to just to get started and make it halfway or close to, like if, if it's like six hundred miles, two hundred dollars. It's all you spending for that whole load. But this is what I figured out. This is the key. I might not have explained it well, because I'm all over the place right now, but I hope I explain it really good for, uh, you know, for y'all to get what I'm saying. And like I said, I know it's a lot of people that's been driving for a long time that's probably been doing this for years and they're just making all kind of money. Uh, but I'm sure some people that was out there like me that's trying to get this fuel thing uh, along with your routes and and how to how to capitalize how to get more money out of what you're doing. And I'm sure there's a lot out there that do this. So if you're watching this video, try it, and I promise you it'll work. But like I said in the beginning, depending on where your fuel is, you may have to take one for the team, fill up the tank do that load but after that load you should be straight from from then on out but i'm over here in georgia jackson just dropped off a load at home depot i'm here chilling right now about to find me something to eat uh but i just wanted to make this quick video you know maybe to help somebody out and um go from there but Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, Mike Lanner. Uh, TikTok, Mike Lanner one with the number one behind it. Go ahead and subscribe to those. Subscribe to this channel. Like this video. Share this video. Uh, comment on this video. If, if there's another strategy that you drivers got to save money or get the most out of each load, share it. Let's all work together. Um, well, other than that, man, this is a short video, man. Y'all be easy. And um, keep those wheels turning. Because if them wheels ain't turning, you ain't earning. Keep those wheels turning. And I hit y'all back.
I'll make another video soon. Peace.